You know, I always tell our listeners, entrepreneurs come in many shapes and sizes, and you don't have to be a traditional business or a business school graduate to be an entrepreneur. Our next guest is a perfect example of that. We have Chuck Christian of Chuck Christian Designs. Hi, Chuck. Hi, how you doing? Good, Chuck. Uh, why don't we t you first take a minute to tell our listeners what kind of business you're in. Well, I'm an artist, and I do all types of artwork, uh, decorative painting, murals, sky ceilings. Um, and floors, too? I do floors, yes, I do. Beautiful floors. Yes. So. I see you've done all different types of art, and let me just get a sense. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for 30 years, full time. And this, and you've made a living from it. Yes. And from this bedroom, I would say you probably make a very good living. It's very unique. Yes, yes. It took, it took quite a bit of time, but it came out beautiful, though. Oh, it is beautiful. Is this for a, a young child? This room. This is like a fairy tale room for our listeners. Yes, it is. It. it is. And there's like there's like the uh, there's the castle off in the woods, you know, to, uh, following a road, and it's sort of like the bed leads to the road that leads to the castle. Right, right. It was funny too. Um, the grandmother, when she came, she was from England. She came and uh, she, she saw the uh, painting and she couldn't believe. She's like, I can't believe that a man did something so beautiful and delicate. Oh, a sexist <laughs> too, huh? Discrimination. Okay, here, let's go take our lawsuit. We're going to get Mark Z here or Mark Thurman in the studio. Uh, is it hard for you to find work? Actually, it's not. Um, I, get a, I used to get a lot of work just strictly word of mouth because um, my work speaks for itself. And then over time, um, I've started using the internet more, which has really, really helped me with my website. And um, uh, and decorators, <laughs> I use a lot of decorator. A lot of decorators use me to do painting for them as well. I'm sure. I'm sure working with decorators is very useful. Do you work alone? I have a, a small crew, um, about three three guys. Wow. And uh, again, you know, t tell me, do, is being an entrepreneur in your history? Well, actually, no. Um, but for me, it was something that I just really had to do. Um, when I first graduated from college, I came out to Boston because I'm originally from Michigan. And, um, Sorry to hear that. <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> I came from Michigan, and uh, I, 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 when I came here, I worked with a bank for about a year and a half, but I wasn't happy, and I said, I need to do my, my art. And that's what I majored in in college, and that's what I wanted to do. And I talked to the wife, and she said, go for it. And um, but the, the funny thing is, uh, when I first started in the business, I I didn't know how to charge for my services, and um, so the first good sized job that I got, uh, the lady asked me how much would it be, and I just pulled out a calculator and started calculating, and I came up with a figure, and the figure had nothing to do with square footage or anything. I went through and added up my bills for the month. <laughs> Need-based pricing. Right, exactly, right. exactly. What I need to get, to get ahead. <laughs> exactly. Did you calculate in college for children and oh, retirement? Uh, I, I wasn't thinking that far ahead. I was, I was just a young guy at the time. <laughs> so now you, now you find a way to sort of increase those margins. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, do you do all the bookkeeping and business side of your business as well? Well, part of it. I have. You don't look like a QuickBooks <laughs> kind of guy. <laughs> no, I, I actually get you know get somebody else to do that for me, but um, I really just. Mostly, just enjoy doing the doing the painting and and, um, and and pricing things like that. Oh, it's wonderful. 